in the Saturn, check out all these elk over here, man. If it'll focus. They're hanging out in the pasture. You got a whole bunch of them over here. Sleeping and getting ready for the day, I guess. Whole bunch of them. Uh, this is a beautiful morning here in the fall and kind of a message to, to get outside. Uh, I, I made a short about basically people spending like four to five hours. Americans spend like four to five hours a day on their phone. And uh, it's kind of bad for your overall health, spending that much time on your phone. Uh, you know, no wonder the obesity rates are so much higher and people don't spend as much time exercising because they're kind of wasting a bunch of time on their phone. And I think we're all guilty of it. I know I'm guilty of it at times. It's very addicting and with all the apps you can pretty much do uh, anything you want to on your phone now without having to uh, leave your house or really do anything. So um, you got to prioritize certain things or else you'll, you'll kind of waste a lot of time on your phone or with technology. And it's just becoming easier and easier, like I said, because the phone has all those apps and you can pretty much waste a lot of time just uh, just on your phone. And uh, we're very, you know, the food is very bad here, but people don't really spend much time exercising. And I think a lot of it is, well, you're probably spending two to three to four hours more than you should a day on your phone, which if you, if you just started to cut back on your phone usage and maybe spend an hour a day exercising and maybe another hour a day, I don't know, reading a book or learning something or just going for a walk that might be better time spent than than on your phone hopefully these show up okay it looks okay on my phone but you can see they're just kind of resting these guys are getting closer you got to be careful driving on this road though because they will cross the road and at night you can't really see that well obviously so uh you know there's been a lot of accidents on this road with people hitting hitting the elk so, how, you know, what do you guys spend on your phone? I think it's a, if you're watching this, it's a good kind of wake up call. I know I can probably, there's probably at least an hour a day or maybe even more than that where I'm wasting time on my phone and it's totally not value added. I mean, I do go to the gym a couple times a week, but I could probably, you know, do, do other things or learn a new skill or practice foreign language or something like that that's actually value added. And well, I mean, some of my time I come out here and I make these videos, I'm working on this YouTube channel, but uh, that's, you know, it's been cool to see the growth of this YouTube channel, but uh, something like that, you know, I think the biggest thing is is exercising, you know, look at yourself. And if you're, if you're not spending enough time exercising or being healthy, you're, you're, you're doing yourself a disservice. That's the biggest investment you're gonna make is your, your health. Because if you don't have your health, you're gonna run out of time as you get older your health is going to be a much bigger concern of yours and you might not even make it that old if you're really unhealthy you know there's plenty of people that have died at the age of 50 or the age of 60 or the age of not even 70 because they didn't really prioritize their health and then as they get older you know all these health issues become kind of the main thing in their life they can't really enjoy their older years because their health is so bad so it's a daily weekly investment that you have to make in yourself to try to eat okay and to uh, exercise. And no one really, I mean, I'd say most people don't really like to do it. I don't really even like to do it. Running is really good for me, although I haven't ran in a while because it, it just, my whole body is sore after and I need to stretch more. But those are just excuses, right? I mean, I need to be doing that stuff. Uh, People don't like to do it, and it's fine if they don't do it, but you are you have to accept the reality that you're, you're going to take on more risk, right? If you're not flexible, if you're not in good health, uh, and you're eating kind of poorly, you, you, you potentially are going to have a bad outcome. And, you know, you, your time is the most precious thing you have. So make the investment in yourself and, and eat good and, you know, go for a walk, exercise, do something strenuous where you're actually sweating you know, two to three times a week, you'll, you'll, you will thank yourself for it 
because you're going to be so much healthier. And, flex, and being flexible stretching is another one that I need to start. I need to do that consistently. It's very good for your body and for your movement just in general. So anyways, that's kind of just the, the morning spiel there. Shot, thought I'd show you guys the elk. Sorry for all the zooming in and zooming out. But let me know what you guys think. Take a look at your screen time. Try to cut it in half. I'm sure there's a lot. I'm sure for most people there's at least an hour or two a day where you could be doing something more productive. And the first thing, if you're not exercising, cut out an hour a day of your phone time and go do something outside or go to the gym or go for a run and start building up that, that, uh, that health skill, that health time investment that you have. You're going to thank yourself for it. And I think everyone has the time. I think everyone can make time for at least 30 minutes, but probably an hour. It's just a matter of, holding yourself accountable and doing it. And there's nothing more important, you guys. There's nothing more important. Money does not matter if you're dead. So just remember that. Let me know what you think. Subscribe for more. I'm going to enjoy this. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.